Good day, good day! How the hunk are ya? This is your friend Dan. Oh, welcome to Roverland! Guess what we've got today? Yeah, another rover looking vehicle. Yeah, now, uh, I've got to back up, and uh, if you guys have watched, and I'll probably tag it at the end, uh, we had done, here, let me show you. We had done uh, uh, this truck, the uh, Road and Track Mean Machines. Yeah, and when we uh, did that, we found out about this Lanard company. And uh, boy, oh boy, were they busy. So Lanard Company uh, started in like um, when did they start? I don't I don't even remember now. <laughs> Looking at my notes here, that I think they started in uh, oh ninety seven something like that. But anyway, they did a uh, uh, a lot of different things. Uh, once I uh, did a video on those, uh, I found out that they did a lot of other things. So. I went and I looked in the old collection, and this is a Leonard uh, vehicle also. And uh, if we can get this to focus here, my goodness, well, we're off to a good start. I already can't focus on what we're doing today. <laughs> but anyway, if we can zoom in here a little bit, you can see that LRC, Leonard Racing Club, Yes, and so uh, I've got a couple of these, and uh, I've got I, I bought these uh, loose. I know this one here. I bought over at Sparta at a uh, at a resale shop, and uh, just a buck fifty. It came like this, and uh, pretty interesting. Now, uh, this uh, actually. Yeah. It looks like a Defender. It doesn't say Land Rover on it or Defender or anything like that. Now, they did change the um, front headlights and stuff like that, so I don't think they have to pay any royalties. The back end is kind of plain. But anyway, this is a Leonard uh, Production 2. And if we can see that right there on the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you get that? Leonard Toys LTD. Now, uh, what we found out when I did the road and track mean machines is that they did a lot of stuff in uh, correlation with Walmart and stuff like that. So uh, let's just take a look at this uh, unique little model. Now, they, um, like I say, it doesn't really say that it's a Land Rover, but I, I pick them up because I, I, you know, boy, if that ain't a Land Rover, I don't know what is. Uh, got a little custom top to it there with the double window there, but uh, pretty neat. They've got a, a clear sticker on there that gives it that zebra stripe, and then they could put their logo on there. Uh, in the front there, like I say, they kind of took some license um, uh, liberties there so they could get away from, um, you know, having to pay royalties to Land Rover. And now they got a split windshield. With uh, wipers on the top. How interesting is that, huh? That's pretty interesting. And then they've got a cowling here. So, uh, like I say, uh, they did some uh, different stuff so they could get away from uh, having to pay royalties. They still it's got the eyebrow on the windows, uh, exterior uh, door hinges and stuff like that. Plain Jane on the back there. Um, one big window. Got tail, turn lights and a backup light there. And it, it comes with a trailer. Oh, what the heck is this? Whoa, look at that. Yeah, what do they call that? Ripcord Racers is what this is called. So I have had, um, like I say, I recently just bought these not too long ago uh, within the last, oh, year or so. And uh, like I say, I've been uh, moving my collection um to the new location, got sunroofs on the top. Look at that, two of them there. So I, I was, uh, I, I thought they looked familiar. And sure enough, in my collection, I had had uh, some in the box. So let's take a look here at uh, what this was. Now, I was talking about Lannard there, and in 1980s, they brought the rights 
for these super shots. And uh, that kind of rang a bell when I did that other video. And uh, it's like, man, that sounds familiar. And here it is. Now, there you go, Lannard uh, Company. And this is uh, uh, Try Me Pull Rip Cord for Power. Yeah, this one is pretty neat. So it's got a little hole in the back of the box here or on the side. And you reach right in there. I don't know where the rip cord went. <laughs> Fish it out. I, man, maybe I can't do it. Oh, why is it stuck? Oh, it's stuck. But anyway, you pull that little rip cord there and let her loose and away she goes. Look at that. Yeah, so pretty neat. Um, they got, they have a, like a rubber tire on them. So it's, it's, you know, they do scoot right along pretty good there. Um, yeah, so let's go back to looking at the package here. I get so distracted sometimes. So here we go. The Super Shots Motorsports. Now this one's got a JDM on it here before they were uh, really big, I suppose. Powerful Racing Vehicles. There you go. And uh, so this was a brand or a, a branch that they had. And we're just going to take a look around the box there. Nothing on the bottom. Like I say here on the side here. They have the pull rip cord and a little opening there so you can just grab a hold of that and test it out. No sounds or anything like that. So, uh, you know, you can't be going through the Walmart there and pushing all the buttons, <laughs> making all the cars go off at the same time. All right, gonna pause there and take a look at there and talk a little bit about the uh, rip cord racers. And uh, holy cow, look at that. There was what, 12? 12 in the series look at that yeah so what do we got we are at uh, number four and so what do they call number four trail grabber is what they call that now as you see um pretty much all of them are kind of uh uh non-licensed now we get into the vw there's licensed uh porsche they're licensed uh, and a mini cooper so some of these last ones here they must have had the uh uh, rights to do that. So there you go. Oh, so this is uh, 2004 is uh, about the time when they uh, put this out. And like I say, they are uh, out of, uh, like I said, Sugar Creek, Montana, M.O. Montana out there. So there you go. And uh, they've also got a UK and uh, they're over in Hong Kong. Now these are made in China. So, but they're, they are based out of uh, the United States. So there you go. Lantern Toys takes pride in making quality, fun toys that compl uh, comply with and with all acceptable U.S. and international safety standards. There you go. <laughs> Can't beat that. All right. So there you go. No, uh, no UC, no UPC code on that one. And like I say, now this is where they must have branched off and uh, took away from. Uh, doing stuff exclusively with Walmart, and uh, they they did that with the um, with um, the uh, Road and Track, and uh, so Road and Track Mean Machines, and uh, those those. Uh, now I'm not really sure on the scale here. This doesn't really give you a scale, but uh, it's pretty pretty big. So there's a green one. We've, we're looking at the green one, and they also did a blue one too, which is pretty snazzy. Look at that. Pretty kind of cool there, huh? Yeah, same thing. Let's see if I can pull the cord on this one. Reach my sausage fingers in there and give it a yank. Oh, look at the speed on that. Holy cow, slow down. Boy, I must uh, do a little hop there. <laughs> now this is uh, the same the same thing. Uh, oh, we didn't like, take a look at this one. Pull rip cord on the right side. There you go. Telling you where to where to pull it on the, the right side of the uh, packaging. And I believe this is going to be the same same stuff there. But you can see, uh, like you know, there's a there number five. There is a a Hummer, and it just says Ultimate 4x4 Rally, you know, but all those other ones, that, that even the number 6 looks like a Ford pickup, number 4 looks like a Dodge pickup, oh, there's an old Power Wagon-like looking thing, number 3 there, 
and uh, or yeah I guess we're going the wrong way this looks like a Jeep that'd be number one number two is the power wagon number three is the the Land Rover looking there we go but uh, very very kind of cool I really like this and I I, I, I you know I, like I said here I, it doesn't say where I bought them from and I don't remember where I bought this from but that's just a sticker on there it's not a sale price it says theirs and ours and uh, I'll be golly if I don't remember uh, where I bought these uh, in the package from I did I did buy these in the wild I bought these from a store I, I didn't buy these off uh, eBay but that was back in the day 2004 is uh, when uh, the, you know they got the trademark sign on there so 2004 2005 so I'm I'm going to guess it was Walmart um, you know because that's one of my only outlets uh, for that but uh, let's take a quick measurement so you kind of get an idea how big this this bugger is uh, can you can you read that yeah so we got it kind of lined up there and uh, just over well just over about six inches and then the tail tail hitch there the toe hitch there hangs out so uh, so six inches what is, what is it wide how wide is it let's just we're just doing this freehand two and a half just about inches wide and uh, yeah that stands that stands about three inches tall all plastic all plastic except for like I say it's got some rubber tires on it they're really uh, really good I and mean, this, this thing will scoot right along I tell you that and uh, yeah so uh, this one I can't remember I think I bought this in at a uh, Goodwill or something like that it was a secondhand store but uh, I know this one here I got this uh, bargain price at a buck fifty I couldn't believe it um, more or less a clothing store used uh, um, well, what do they call it? Just a used uh, secondhand store. I mean, it's not a uh, like Goodwill. It's it's the uh, independently owned <laughs> place, places like that where people bring their their junk and they, <laughs> these people try to sell it. So, all right. Well, there you go. There's another insight to Lanard and their uh, Super Shots Motorsports. Do you got any of these? Were these just uh, here in the States or are they abroad? I don't know. I've never seen any of them before. The uh, green obviously must have been a pretty popular color. The blue one, I was kind of surprised that I, I got that blue one, but that's that's kind of neat. There's a little variation, but same stickers. Uh, you know, there's a clear sticker on there, same stickers. Unique. Do you like this, huh? I know it's not uh, licensed. Land Rover Defender, but uh, boy, oh boy, if that's not a Defender, I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call it a video. Thanks for joining me today. Keep your eyes out while you're hunting for your Land Rovers. And as always, as you're getting there, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.